Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Chaz. And Goose from Classic Komodo. And welcome to Watch'em Call It, a series full of what's. What's up? What's changing? And what's new? So, now what? Battlefield 4. Today we're going to be talking about the classes, what are the changes, and what do we want in the new Battlefield 4. So, let's start off with Assault. Uh, we're looking at some of the some of the changes. One is the smaller med packs that they introduce. They're going to be able to spe well speculation says that they have the regular med packs you can be able to throw on the ground, just like in Battlefield Three. And then there's also going to be these new med packs that you're going to be able. They're smaller, and you're going to be able to attach them to friendly units or friendly players, and they're going to be able to, instead of just standing one spot and losing the momentum because momentum is like a really really big thing in battlefield is now you're going to be able to attach it to somebody and they're going to be able to move on the only problem is we don't know how long that's going to be for you know that that, um, that might be for like 10 seconds you might get this thing on and it disappears off your back right dice uh one of the dice officials came out and he said he was talking about these smaller med packs and how it's going to be attached to people he did not come out with how long it's going to be attached to somebody how much health it's going to give uh you know maybe over time it disappears so we're not really sure about that just yet but uh you know, it'll be something that we'll look out for, definitely. Uh, one of the other things that we heard speculations about is about the short and long revives. Two different things, you know, you know, in Battlefield 3, when you uh, have your defibrillators out and you just kind of run and zap somebody and run away, and it, it picks somebody up. But now they're talking about also a long one, where uh, you get to charge them up and uh, hit the guy and he gets up with 100% as opposed to uh, 30%, which is what the short revives they're talking about. Yeah, I agree. I, I like the variation with, okay, now you have the availability of having a short revive where quickly you revive somebody, 30, they get up but they only have 30%, or the long revive where th it takes you t five seconds to revive somebody, but then you come up with 100% health and you're good to go. One, it would be able to kind of counteract this kind of rev train system where you have four medics in a, cl in a group and you're able to run trains, but... The thing I want to see change is the fact that they don't have the short revive at all. I think that the assault class is overpowered oh in gosh. Battlefield 3, mainly because of the revive. I like the fact that in Bad Company, they the medics were the only ones with LMGs, and the assault class had the uh, ammo packs, and so there was balance. The fact that you traded, you traded accuracy for, you know, you had ammo, and that allowed your group to go out with the assault class, but you traded that accuracy for the ability to revive with the medic class, with the LMG. You still had a powerful weapon, you still had 100 rounds in the mag where you could mow people down, but you couldn't pick people off as well as you could with the assault class. So, do I feel like the assault class will still be overpowered in Battlefield 4? Yes, I feel so too. Because of the fact that these rev trains are going to still go on if these 30% revives, these short revives still happen. Because all you're going to see is a bunch of lightning bolts on the ground, and especially now that the console is going to have 64-man servers, everybody's just going to be running around doing the short revives. It, that, that's all it's going to be. And the long revives is only going to be if you're in a corner and you got hit off you know, from a sniper a mile away, and you're all alone. You know, That's the only way these... Uh, long revives or speculated long revives gonna happen so what i would what i would like to see is long revives always you revive to 100 percent health or 30 percent health i don't it doesn't matter to me but you have to take it takes a while to charge it takes a while to charge revive gives a damper yeah it gives a damper on the assault class the assault class is one of my favorites and yeah i'm pretty sure everybody else is but it gives every it, it gives everybody else a chance you know it 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 doesn't make that class such as overpowered. Um, you have the medic bags that heal you. You know, you had the small medic bags now that you can give to people. Um, you had the smokes. You had, uh, you know, the grenade launcher with you. You had the availability of your shotgun, which, I mean, that was kind of shady. But, like, you had all this availability. I think they just need to kind of bring it a little bit back and, and kind of move it. Um, what's the next class? Support. Yeah, talking about support. Uh... Another thing that's you know similar to the or the assault class is the smaller ammo packs. 
you always have the large ammo packs, which of course you throw down. It's going to be there until it either gets destroyed or you throw down an another ammo pack. But uh, now they're also doing with these smaller ammo packs, which you can attach to either a squad mate or you can uh, attach it to a random guy that's, you know, just following along. That's another thing that, you know, DICE has talked about, you know, how long is it going to be attached to you? How much ammo is it going to give to you? Is it going to give you two or three clips and then it's gone? You know, they, they haven't talked about it just yet. Yeah, uh, a thing that they we're talking about too is the fact that when you reload, you lose all that ammo in the magazine. So for instance, realistically, if you shot five shots, you took out your ammo clip, threw it away, and you put a new one in, you lost the 40 rounds instead of, that you, if you had a 45 round clip. You lost those 40 rounds. But what they're saying is that might only be in hardcore. Now if you're asking yourself, well, wait a minute, wasn't the whole battlefield uh, gameplay at E3, it was that wasn't hardcore. They were shooting people and it took them like 10 minutes to kill. Well, they stated that they increased the health levels uh, during the beta or the alpha, well, the alpha during E3 to show off, you know, to slow down the gameplay so that you would live longer. Um, is it going to be implicated into Battlefield 3 that it's only on hardcore? Mm, probably. I don't, I mean, I would love to see it so that the ammo, when you reload, uh, would get right get rid of your entire magazine. It would force your squad to have an, uh, a, a support class. It offers it offers variability in your class so that you're not all running assault and one you know support. Which I mean, competitively, when you run, you run either all assault or all assault and one support. That's that's what it is. Um, I think because if you would reload, it, it would offer variability uh, in your group. Also, the the support players get a buff. Finally, on the fact, I guess not necessarily a buff, but they stay consistent while everybody else gets uh, nerfed. Right. On the fact right, of the, suppression. Uh, the suppression, right. Suppression. Suppression has been a big thing. Battlefield 3 players have been talking about uh, everybody gets suppressed right now in Battlefield 3. Uh, Battlefield 4 is coming out. Um, a lot of people have been talking about E3 about how only certain classes get uh, suppressed. They're talking about how the recon, of course, they'll get suppression, and then the support players will get suppression, which is a good idea. I think if you run an assault or engineer and you have the, the smaller guns, that you know you shouldn't be getting suppressed as much. The ri the rifles from the recon and the LMGs from the support, they lay down a lot of fire and they offer those long range abilities. They should be able to give you suppression, which is I think is a great idea. Yeah. Um, they they really needed to buff the support class, um, and I think that's the way to go is to offer the suppression aspect. That's what they were built for to suppress. They, they were the support class, so not meant to be the main. You know, um, but I think I think that will uh, offer a lot. Um, my favorite is the recon. I I am I am psyched to see. That's how I'm going to be playing. Hopefully, right. is the recon is. The recon is getting buffed. Is big time. Big time. It's they're getting C4. Just like in Bad Company 2, they're getting the C4, um, and the support players are losing it. Now the support players are gaining a uh, a grenade launcher that um, it's uh, what's the name for it? I forgot. But you could literally um, you can designate a certain space, and when you shoot it, it'll explode in that space. So you, it's it's good for clearing out rooms. Um, if you played Call of Duty before, it's it's in a Call of Duty series um, where you could shoot the grenade and it'll explode. It's a t like a almost like a uh, target finder where you can um, find the specific space that you want the, the grenade to explode. Um, they have the support players have that now instead of the C4, which can offer some variability. But back to the recon, my fades, they get the C4. They get motion balls, which was in Bad Company 2. Um, they're getting a range finder. Now, this is going to be able so that when you're making longer uh, range shots, you'll be able to scope in the distance. So, for instance, let's say they're 200 meters out, and you scope in, it's 200 meters. What it'll do is automatically adjust your scope so that the center of your scope is now 200 meters. So, when you shoot, all you have to do is aim for that. This is um, going to be huge, actually, because Battlefield 4 are, is coming out with the 20 time scope. And Battlefield 3, of course, we all know we only have up to a 12 time scope. And now, with the, uh, the larger maps coming out, the more, you know, the large, large maps, they, they're going to be coming out with long range sniping. We're not talking just, you know, 12 times scope. They're putting the 20 times scope on there. They're letting us know that they're gonna be having some long range fights. And with that range finder on there, the percentage of people that are gonna be using this thing is almost guaranteed 100%. The people that snipe and they like to snipe from the mountains and everything, they're gonna use this. Yep. 
Hey, and also, the recon has suppression too. So, I mean, it's just in the bad of this. Um, and then last... Is. My faves. <laughs> My faves. This is something I play all the time. It's the engineer class. Uh, it's something that, you know, you can repair things, you can destroy things, you can definitely, you know, lock on air targets, lock on the you know, ground targets, or just free range with RPGs. They're not getting too much of a change on Battlefield 4 so far that we've heard. Um, we do know that the RPG now has a recoil to it, to where your guy, you know, he, he clicks the RPG, sends off, you get a big cloud of smoke, which kind of, you know, blurs your vision, of course, so that if somebody is around you, you kind of, you lose where he's that for a second yeah and then you also kind of get thrown back a little bit so it, it has a recoil to it yeah it's uh so i guess you could say all in all the engineers getting a little bit nerfed when it comes to right. the, the rpg spam that you can't just pop one off switch to your assault rifle and start picking I mean, well your carbine and start picking right. people off um which reminds me on the fact that all classes now have carbines. right uh we're going to talk about i guess the all class all classes now have carbines what else pdws shotguns and, uh, and what? The, the new one, the new uh, one where they're calling DMRs. Uh, if you're if you're a Halo player, you're used to a DMR being called a you know a designated marksman rifle. Uh, it's something that they're kind of putting a new class into because of course you have the bolt action rifles, and now the DMR class uh, setup is pretty much where you're you're gonna find your uh, M417, your SKSs, things like that. It's gonna be your you know your battle rifles. Yeah, um, it'll offer support players longer range accessibility. Um, it allows for us, uh, all these all classes, you know, it, it gives every class the ability to fit any range, you know, uh, that they please. And I think, I think it's a good setup. Um, do I want to see any changes with this kind of stuff? Not really. I would like to see so that, um, some of the, like the shotgun slugs kind of throw me off a little bit. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit of changes in that. Um... Uh, the DMRs are going to be are, are going to be great for an all class, especially the carbines too. Because now, if an assault rifle, uh, I mean, if it's a uh, recon player wants to be a little bit more aggressive, and he doesn't just want a single fire gun or an SMG that he can't, you know, now he has a little bit more. Value. So all in all, I think it's going to offer a lot. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes that I want to see, um, but that's going to be for our next video when we talk a little bit about uh, some more changes in Battlefield 4, what we want to see. And I think that's that's about it for today. That's about it for today. Next time we'll uh, basically be covering all the perks and uh, attachments and in an video. We'll probably be talking about some vehicle changes that they have going on, especially with the helicopter and the tanks and different types of ground vehicles. But who knows? Who knows? <laughs> we'll see you on next episode of Whatchamacallit. All right, this is Chaz. And Goose. And we'll see you next time. So stay classy.